This is Johnny Wrestling, Johnny Gargano, and you are listening to the Bob Coulter Podcast. Alright, ladies and gentlemen, back here at Baltimore Celeb Fest 6 with one of, let's be real, one of our favorite guests of all time. Tag him and bag him. That's it. First ballot BCP Hall of Famer. He's the PW Revolver World Champ. He's the next guy. I'm just going to say it right here, right now. The guy in Impact, he's climbing that proverbial ladder. One of our favorite guys, Mr. Steve Mack. Welcome in, Mr. Mack. How are you, sir? Good. Of course, brother. Of course. It's good to be here at Celeb Fest, hanging out, and it's good to see you guys. Thank it's you, brother. Good to see, good to see you, you too. Yeah. All the time in person, I see all the tweets and everything, so I appreciate that. No, we, we and we appreciate you making the time. And first of all, let's talk about the beard, man. He's growing in the beard. It looks good, man. Uh, styling, bro, man. Well, what's the secret to the beard, man? I, I had the chin strap. Apparently, that's outdated, man. What's the secret to the good beard, bro? Uh, I don't know. Just keeping it groomed, keeping it kept, ah, yeah. keeping it clean. Like I let it grow out, and then I shaved it back down. I don't want to let it get too long. Yeah. Don't want to go too Forgotten Sons. Now, now the real question is, the, the newly minted married couple, congratulations. congratulations. Well, big congrats. How does Deanna like the beard? She loves it. Actually, there I you go. a That's the key. going for the wedding oh. beforehand, oh, yeah. and then I knew I was going to shave it down to be clean for the wedding. She's okay. Like, you can keep it. I was just like, no, I'll shave it. And then once the wedding was done, I grew it back out. There you go. There you so, go. You, you guys are so sweet. We love uh, seeing you guys. And, man, I got to ask, man, I saw some pictures from the proposal, saw some pictures from the wedding. Um, anything you you feel comfortable sharing about the proposal? We love a sweet story. The wedding, how did everything go, man? It looked beautiful. It, it looked amazing, the man. The proposal Congrats. was fun. Thank you. The proposal was fun just because uh, trying to set it up, and my cousins helped me coordinate it for going to Bluffton, South Carolina to do it. Oh, wow. Trying to trick her. It was just like a cousin's weekend. Yeah. <laughs> I had to figure that nice. whole thing out. And yeah, she yeah. kept spoiling my plans here and there. And even when she was getting dressed, she's like, I don't want to wear too much makeup. I don't want to wear this. I'm like, ah. I'm like, I go to my cousin Shannon. I'm like, can you help me out here a little bit? Like, yeah. Like, yeah. Egg her on. Like, I yeah. can't blatantly say, maybe you should dress up a little bit. For this. <laughs> and that worked out. But uh, the wedding was the best day of my life. That's Aww. awesome. That's great. Probably the next best thing is going to be when we have kids. Like, to, to me, best day of my life is us, our wedding day. It was such a blast for family. Uh, just throw my Marine Corps buddies. We got married on the Marine Corps birthday, which was even cooler. Oh, cool. Actually, okay. Allowed that booking to happen. Oh, wow. So it was, it was best day of my life. That's awesome, That's man. That's, That's great to hear. Answer, man. We're very happy for you guys. You guys yes. are the best. Um, got to talk shop a little bit, bro. Right now, you are running through all former world champions. Love, love to see it. Impact, man. Can we, I've been saying it on Twitter. Can we just make the match here? You're, you're around Josh Alexander. You had some confrontations, man. I think you got uh, what you got a series of matches to get into a fatal four-way to fight him. I There's do. a lot on your plate, man. I feel like you've earned that personally. You're running through everybody, having some crazy matches, man. What, what? How do you feel? How much do you feel you deserve this match? I feel you do personally. I think I'm pretty deserving of it, but at the same time, in the eyes of Impact, maybe I'm not at the management position. Scott Demore was there, and I asked for my shots, tried to get my shots during those invitationals. Yeah. And I got shot down every time anytime I tried to walk through that curtain and now you have Santino Morella there and I understand what yeah. he's trying to do he's trying to shake trying to shake things up with former world champions in that six shooter match and then Rich Swan won that who I beat at hard to kill which it only makes sense that the guy I beat at hard to kill that's now at right. the no surrender pay-per-view as the number one contender doesn't really make a lot of sense to me but whatever I'll keep stacking bodies like I have yeah I'll keep beating former world champions like I have and I'll keep earning it. And a lot of people, whether they like me or hate me, I, I, I don't really care. I'm doing what I said I was going to do, and I've set out to be the Impact World Champion. That's it. And the resume speaks for itself, man. Yes. Just being impartial here, I do think you, you clearly deserve that shot. I got to ask you now, correct me if I'm wrong, I believe you take on Rhino first yes. in this series. Are your thoughts going against the likes of a veteran like Rhino? I've yeah, the man beast. Yeah. I've already beaten Rhino, yeah. so oh, I is. know what I'm in for. And for what he's done in his career, with ECW, WWE, and uh, just an impact. 
in general, it's just, uh, yeah, got to watch out for the gore. That's pretty much it. Yeah. Yeah, that's it. He knows what he's doing. You beat him before. Confidence seems to be the answer there, yeah. man. Um, I got to talk to you about this one, Mr. Macklin. Um, this product, uh, PW Revolver, where you are the world champion. Yes. Uh, was that best name show ever, by the way? Was it A Night at the Moxbury? That was the <laughs> most amazing show name. Yeah, yeah. It looked like a good show, man. How, how was that? It uh, for was you this last past night? Thursday in oh, Dayton. Yeah. Uh, sold out crowd. Nice. Revolver is probably one of the gems of the independence, and I, it's not really an independent company. It, it is an independent company. But when you are there, it does not feel like an independent wrestling show. It feels like a big production, and what they have going on there, and what it's based off of for our generation by our generation of pro wrestling. That's great. And to be their world champion, I love it just because I get to represent a group of hardworking people that have always been cast out as like a misfit. Haven't been told yes or no here and there, and it's just a blast. I love those shows, and if you haven't caught them on Fight Network, please tune in to Fight for the replays. And then we have the next one coming up in March, and then another one was just announced for April 6th in uh, Dayton again. So, yeah, And you're the guy there, man, and, and not doing any sort of fantasy booking here, forgive me, but you're at that show, you're, at, you're the world champion, man. I know you have your eye on the prize and impact. Yeah. That being said, Mox was there with you, man. I, I just I want to see this match. I'm, maybe I'm being selfish. I would here. love to you see versus that. You yeah. versus Mox. I'm sure it's crossed your mind, man. Everything's crossed my mind. And, yeah. Uh, that's one of those things. Like he's he's a guy that with the, the Combat Club, it's one of those things he's said. It like it's you earn it in blood, and that's that's one of those things I can attest to of respecting him for that factor. And if if that match is to come down the road at Revolver or Impact or AEW or anywhere on Independence, uh, I would love it. Yeah, they're very well We'd said. love to see it. Yeah, man, I, that'd be very cool. Selfishly, I'd love to see it. But I love that you're so locked in on the target, man. I, yeah. I appreciate that, man. i got to ask you, um, working with the likes uh, recently of Kazarian and Bully Ray, I love the promo uh, with Bully Ray. I would like to see more between uh, you and him. He's, uh, he's a tough cookie. He is. Bully is the uh, – he lives up to his name of being Bully. Yeah. And uh, I have a lot of respect for him being the Hall of Famer that he is, but also I told Josh from the beginning, why would you trust this man? I think a lot of people did, and I can see straight through what Bully was doing. Nobody wanted to believe what I had to say, so to each his own. Yeah, absolutely, man. And I got to ask you this one, man. A lot more of your matches recently have been a little bit more hardcore, a little bit like Falls Count Anywhere, all that kind of stuff, man. Do you prefer that, or is it just any way to get the job done? Any way to get the job done, and that's on management. Uh, yeah. you're, you're, you're working right into my wheelhouse right now, giving me these opportunities and these matches with Falls Count Anywhere. Uh, the, uh, whatchamacallit, the Barbed Wire Massacre. Mm -hmm. uh, and it's a lot of fun for me just because those are the matches I've always kind of wanted to do. Mm -hmm. Never really got to show my creativity in those matches. And it's been a lot of fun to have those matches, especially with Rich Swan and Hard to Kill. Uh, he's, a, he's Swan, former world, another former world impact uh, champion. And uh, it was a good one. That's it, man. And not to put the cart before the horse, but I got to ask you this one, Mr. Macklin. What would it mean to you to win that uh, Impact World Championship? Man? It would mean everything. Uh, it would be proving everybody again wrong, uh, like I've done since the beginning of being let go from my time in WWE. And it's being able to show the world what I can do. And that's the one thing I've been just trying to do is I know the talent that I am. And that's the one advantage of I had where people are like, well, we never like you went out and reinvented yourself. It's like, no, this is who I am. Yeah. I'm just being able to show you for the first. Exactly. Time. You got the, the opportunity got to on. show it. Yeah. And I, I'm grateful for the time at Impact with doing that and to be able to carry that title and to be able to be the world champion at some point, which will surely happen down the road. Uh, I'm looking forward to it. Uh, I love it, man. And last one for me, I'll be respectful for your time. Thank you for always taking the time. Yeah, yeah thank you so I much. Love, I love coming chatting. Oh, Especially I've, at a convention like this. We get to catch up with everybody here. Dude, it's so good to see you, man. You're yeah. a husband now, man. You're killing it. I love seeing you get that tap on the shoulder, man. I feel like you're the next guy. Maybe I'm being selfish, man. Uh, but I got to ask you this, man. And very well deserved. Um, we see Deanna's getting an action figure coming out. We're seeing new stuff coming out. We, we need a Steve Macklin Funko. We need the Steve Macklin action figure. We need Steve Macklin everything. Can, can we yes. get this going, please? Yes. Yes. So I tell her all the time, like, People have goals in wrestling. Oh, I want to be the world champion. It's like, I wanted to be in the video game. I wanted an action figure. There you figure. go. I just wanted an action figure to give to my mom. Just because, Aww. like, growing up, like, that was the, like, yeah. I used to get the old WWF figures back in the day with the, uh, the plastic body, yeah, the broken, yeah. the arms and the superstar figures. Then I had the original plastic ones with the action arms. And I was like, I always got those as gifts, like, every now and then for Christmas or just anything. Like, to give that to my mom would be something kind of cool to do. 
So Riker got one though. Oh come on, yeah. Let's now, now what? Now, back, now what gear would you want on the figure? Ooh, I mean, we got to get the Punisher oh, maybe. Yeah. That's the cool thing about it is with doing the Punisher. I would like one like uh, what is it? The limited series where you have the multiple heads. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. So you yeah, have yeah. The multiple jackets, or you sell multiple different figures. That's it. I gotta talk to Cardone on that one. Dude, guys, <laughs> yeah. Impact Shop. I got the uh, the dog tags. Guys, get those. Get your stuff. Uh, get the merch available online. Right? Yeah. Pro tags. Wrestling T. Steve Macklin store. Shop Impact deals. And then if you don't follow me at Instagram and Twitter, Steve Macklin. Dude, Mr. Macklin, thank you for your time, man. Yeah, thank good, you, brother. Good luck to you moving forward. Appreciate it, man. Thank, thank you, you so much. Thank Have fun. You.